get started. Welcome everyone uh, to Olive Community Services. If this is your first time, my name is Zainab Husseini. I'm the program coordinator for Olive and we do these programs every Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, on Wednesdays, we usually have our guest speakers join us, share their knowledge and experience and skill set. And hey, we don't discriminate. We have guest speakers from all ages, all sizes. So today is one of those days where we are going to have a very special guest. His name is Mr. Yassin Mawjood. I would like to introduce him. He is nine years old, lives with his mom, dad, and brother, and sister in Claremont, California. He is naturally curious and loves being in nature because it is his happy place. At present time, his interests are chess, photography, and all things Star Wars, Mandalorian, and Harry Potter. So we would like to welcome Mr. Yassin Mojud. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Yassin and I will be talking about my project to save the earth. I am nine years old and live in Claremont, California. I would like to thank the Olivers and Auntie Zainab for inviting me to talk about my project. Recently, I finished my second year of mentorship, a nature class led by Ms. Sama Wera, the leader of Art and Wilderness Institute. Here. Mentorship is a class about nature, manners, and how they come together to help us be good, become good stewards of the earth. This is my handkerchief. It is a piece of cloth that has spaces for goals that we try to achieve. For example, there are spaces for being a good communicator, safety, leading hikes, and creativity. Over the past two years, I have earned patches for honesty, organization, compassion, and project completion. I also use my handkerchief as a sunshade and a prayer mat. My group has five kids and we go out on different adventures with Miss Sama. For example, one time we found, an, we found owl pellets, which is like a ball of owl poop. Inside those pellets, we found rodent skulls. Also, there is a picture here of us by Ghost Rock during one of our hardest hikes. It was hard because of it, it was a very hot day and we had to walk uphill for an hour and a half. Almost every class, we make a list of what we saw. For example, these are the things we saw at Peters Canyon last December. We also have to make nature journaling pages as part of our homework. For example, these are the things we saw at Peter. For example, a nature journaling page is a drawing of an animal or plant, or plant with facts about them. This page is about barn owls. A barn owl's screech call is a screech instead of a hoot. This is my king snake page. We saw it on a trail we were on that day. You would be happy to know that a king snake is not poisonous. This is a greater roadrunner. They can run up to 20 miles per hour and they make nests in cactus. This is a page about wild grapes. They are sour, basically like a natural sour patch candy treat. Trading cards are cards Miss Sama makes that have pictures and facts about California native plants and animals. There are some for an invasive plants and animals also. We earn trading cards by the points Miss Sama gives us for things we do in class or for telling her facts and showing her a picture of one that we saw in the wild. These are the pictures of my favorite trading cards that I own. The pictures are on the front and the facts are on the back. I made a Goodings Willow trading card because we had to make a trading card for Joshua Tree Family Day. Unfortunately, it rained, so we went to the beach instead, but we were able to sell to share the trading cards that we all made. 
One fact about Gooding's willow is that they depend on groundwater. This is my display case. It has things like feathers, leaves, nuts, and rodent skulls that I have collected during mentorship class this year. This is the phenology wheel that I made. Second and third year mentorship, mentorship students have to make these. It is a graph that shows the temperature, the animals, and, the, and plants that can be found in a certain month or season. One mentorship day, we took videos of native plants of our choice. For homework, we made a video talking about the plant. It is used on the Art and Wilderness Institute YouTube channel for educational purposes. Let me share the video. Hello. Today, I am going to be talking about Toyon. It has spiky leaves, deep roots, and red berries, which can be eaten and made into a jelly. But if you eat a few pounds of the berries, it can kill you. It grows best in containers or as a specimen shrub. It grows usually in full sunlight or semi-shade. Blooming season is around June to July. Hollywood is named after this plant, and it lives in the oak woodlands ecosystem. It is an evergreen plant that is from the rose family. If you make tea from the leaves, you can drink it as a stomach remedy. It grows four to six feet high and is drought tolerant. The bark and leaves can be used as a wound wash, and the leaves can be used as a soil wash. It is a perennial bush and can help to prevent erosion and to stabilize slopes. In the 1920s, people started cutting the plant to decorate Christmas trees until it became illegal to cut it when the population started going down. It has Los Angeles, it is Los Angeles's off official native plant and has leathery leaves. The flowers grow in small clusters and smell like hawthorn. They look like plum blossoms. This bush is also known as California holly and Christmas berry. Butterflies love this plant's flowers, and many birds like the berries, like quails, turkeys, western bluebirds, cedar wax waxwings, robins, and mockingbirds. The flowers have petals of five and are white. Thank you for watching my toy on video. Thank you. One mentorship, all the second and third year students were asked to complete a service project, so I chose to plant trees. I made a video explaining my project and why and how the earth is in danger. Here is the video. Hold on, let me share it for a minute. Mm -hmm. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am going to talk about trees and why we are in need of them. Right now, I am fundraising for more trees. Currently, our Earth's climate is in peril. Over the last 10 years, the climate has been changing rapidly. The climate is too hot here and too cold there. Our winters are getting warmer, and the ice in the Greenland and the Arctic are melting rapidly, causing our ocean level to rise. Ice is white, which reflects light, so it is fine but water is blue, which absorbs the light, causing the water to get warmer, which melts the ice into the ocean, making the ocean level higher, destroying many sea animals and coral reefs. Meanwhile, anything that burns coal, oil, and many other fossil fuels are proving dangerous. Gas cars burn oil, making carbon dioxide, CO2, which is a greenhouse gas. Normally, greenhouse gases are okay, because without them, there will be no warmth to warm the earth. But now, there are so many greenhouse gases that it reflects the light over and over again, plus the sun is sending more and more light, 
causing more and more heat rising, warming seas and the air around us. So why do we need trees? Well, trees breathe CO2, which we breathe out, balancing the CO2 in our air. And on top of that, it breathes out oxygen for us to breathe. But if you look out, you might think, well, we have lots of trees. Why do we need more? We need more because of towns, cities, and farms are spreading everywhere, cutting trees out of the way for space for their building. And plus, paper is made from trees. So this is why I want to plant trees. OC Parks is in great need of planting trees because of the release of too much greenhouse gases, fire, and drought. So we plan to go there and plant trees from Tree of Life Nursery with some other people, including Miss Samawera, head of Art and Wilderness Institute and my nature teacher. I am trying to raise $800 to plant at least 10 trees in O'Neill Regional Park in Orange County. Some trees I want to plant are Laurel Sumac, Toyon, Coast Live Oak, sycamore and lemonade berry thank you so much for your time assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh we posted this video on launch good after a month i was able to raise fourteen hundred dollars miss sama and i started to plan the planting miss sama was able to call the park rangers and see what trees were needed to plant from there, we were able to call Tree of Life Nursery in Laguna and purchase the trees with the money we raised. We had a few difficulties, though. At first, we planned to plant the trees in December 2020, but there was a fire very close to O'Neill Regional Park, and the area had to be evacuated. The next time we tried to schedule to plant the trees, one of the park rangers got COVID. In the end, we were able to schedule the planting for January 19 of 2021. Here are the pictures from the planting. So I'm in the middle with Miss Sama on my right and the park rangers on my left. Here's me in front of one of my trees that I planted. We put stones there to mark where we planted the trees. And here's a, a group picture where we're all planting trees, spaced out because of COVID. And the park rangers had set a spaces to plant different trees where they, based on what was needed. This is, this is me in front of my first oak tree that I planted. This is my mom in the middle, my brother on the left, and me on the right. Here's me. The rake tool that I have in my hand is to soften the dirt because it was really hard. This is Sarah helping one of my cats. The ground was really rocky and hard, but that was okay since that was the type of gravel we needed for the trees. Here is the park ranger teaching everyone how to plant. My dad, my mom, and my brother planting. So my mom and dad turning next to two rocks they had to dig out since the area was very rocky. Here's another good photo. Here's me talking about a tree.
here's another photo of the park rangers are teaching everybody how to climb. Here is my dad. And here is one of my friends planting, I mean, watering one of the trees. Here's a mom, I think, and her daughter planting fruit. Here is Miss Samuel and I by the last, by the only original part song. <laughs> Moving forward, my goals for this upcoming mentorship year are removing invasive plants, helping to stop coral bleaching, helping to stop forest fires. <coughs> and continuing to plant trees. Invasive plants are plants that are taking over um, taking over native plants like um, oak trees and um, toyon. And coral bleaching is like when the ocean gets like sick, so the coral starts to become sick too. And yeah. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. And now I would like to give you all a quiz. <laughs> all the what? I hope you enjoyed my presentation. And now I would like to give you a quiz, hold on. Uh oh, yes, you should have warned us there was a quiz in the end. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to send a link, inshallah, in the chat. Speak up, Yasin, we can't hear you. Okay, so my mom is going to, my mom's computer is going to send a link in the chat. If everyone can click click on the link, it should take you to a quiz. I'll show you what this what it'll look like. So if you click on that link, yes, it'll take you here. You type in your name and start the quiz. Choose about uh, choose out of the olivers. He's the dad. He should know everything. Jose <laughs> <laughs> forgot the most questions right, but he didn't do it as fast as my dad. I think. Jose is in your group, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. <not> fair. <laughs> So is, Rihanna, is, is, Rihanna is this, one from Among Us. Is this <laughs> Rihanna Mojud or is this Rihanna uh, Wahab? There's two Rihannas in the room. So who spelled their Rihanna with a capital or uppercase R? I did. Okay, so grandma won. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. And, and I came next. This and you came next. Rubina and T, you are second. Good, Rubina. <laughs> <laughs> good job. Yes. Good job. Sister Hakika, you're there too. You're in the top four. There you go. Good job, guys. Good job. I think I should, I should uh, step out because that's not fair for me to win. Oh, well, is there a prize is the question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, no, it's just the uh, first place podium. One second <laughs> ends. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Well, we enjoyed that. That was very fun. And it was a good um, memory exercise. Yeah. <laughs> so, Yasin, can we ask you some questions? Is that okay? Yes, please. So, my question is... Um, 
how long did the whole process take that day when you went out to plant the trees? Mm, like three hours. Yeah, like three hours. Mm -hmm. But that one group came before us. Like one group started planting for like three hours. Mm -hmm. We arrived like towards their end and then we started planting for three hours. Mm -hmm. And how many years will it take for it to look like an actual tree? You think mm -hmm. approximately? 10 to 15 years. 10 to 15 years. How old will Yasin be then? with the quiz. Maybe 19? Yeah? 10? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Any other questions for Mr. Mojud here? I have a question. Sure. I just want to know what his future goals are. What does he um, want to do or be when he... Um, Rosa. Moving forward, my goals for this up no, what you want to be when you grow up. Can oh. you please the office game? I'm still in. What was the question? The question was, what are your future goals? What do you want to do when you grow up? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question. Yes. What's, what's your plan over the next few years to make sure those trees grow and get attention. I think the park rangers are taking care of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you planning you, to, are you planning to visit the to... Yeah, I think so. We I think we're planning on doing more planting in the same like area. Oh, okay. Because we still have some trees left over. Oh okay. Okay good. Salam alaikum. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, share with us uh, how someone else could connect with your group or if they wanted to join your group? Like what? Like in, that the you Art and Wilderness Institute. How could somebody join Art and Wilderness Institute, basically? Um, mm -hmm. To join Art and Wilderness Institute, you go to the website artandwildernessinstitute.com and we send it out. Okay. And um, and they have a bunch of programs. Can you could you tell us a little more about their programs? Some of us know a little bit about the institute, and some of us um, are not familiar with them. But they have so, classes for adults as well as students, right? Yeah, they have like uh, programs like classes, um, competitions, and stuff like that, right? They mm -hmm. have their YouTube channel. Oh, oh, okay. Sama, Auntie Khadija, and Auntie Saima are the leaders. Mm -hmm. And do they have tours? Like uh, my grandson's going to be visiting, so... Are there, are there tours going on right now uh, during COVID? Do you know? No, I don't think so. Like, it's a website, like not a place. Okay. Any more questions? <laughs> Thanks. What, what kind of trees do you plant? We planted um, lemonade berry, Toyon, sycamore. Sycamore is like the one that has like the gray and white bark and the big leaves. And we have oak. Mm -hmm. Is is there a reason you picked those plants or trees? I think based on what was needed in the park. Okay. And is the California, and the California natives. Okay. How can we how can we help you? Um if you go to Launch Good, I think. Okay. Uh -huh. um, and donate, please. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Actually, I, I can add value to that. You could go to Launch Good or you could make a direct uh, donation to um, the Wilderness Institute. Um, <laughs> Olive Community Services did support uh, part of their mentorship program, right, Zena? That's correct. That's okay, correct. thank you. That's correct. So thank you so much, Yasin, uh, to you and your family. That was 
uh, really, really inspiring to see somebody so young like you taking mm. uh, a lead on, you know, planting trees. So important for your future generation to benefit from. And Huzaifa here is being a little shy, but he's very, very proud of you. And <laughs> Zefa being shy, I don't believe that. <laughs> Zefa, where are you? Zainab, can I ask heard one from you for a long time? Yes, he's next to me. But go ahead, Sister Zarina, go ahead, ask your question. Okay, the reason uh, um, you plant all these plants is because it requires less water. Is that correct? Native plants, yes. No, because they're, plants? Like, they're native and like um, they'll help. Mm -hmm. so they'll help support like the other the environment mm -hmm. uh, another another way of saving trees and plants is not to use disposable paper products there you go yes <laughs> yeah, because if 15 billion trees are cut down every year mm -hmm. and that's a very large number so stop you know another lesson for younger generation is to kind of not use uh, paper um, leisurely. That's true. I agree. Yeah. Okay, what well, I have a question for you, Yasin. What, yes. How do you how do you benefit by planting a, a tree? What are the benefits? The benefits are like having a better environment, better and a nicer environment. Like because before, like when before the trees were planted, it was all this plain gravel. But it gives um, and it also gives us absorption of carbon dioxide. Absorption of carbon dioxide, and yeah, because like yeah, but we, what do the roots? Do? Roots also play a part. You must have learned about that. What do the roots of the trees do? They stabilize like the. They stabilize the slopes. Yes. Good answer. They hold the, they hold the soil and there is less of soil erosion. So that protects the soil from being eroded. Yeah, retains water. Yes. And then we, they we, are, very, we are very proud of you, yes. Thank you. And when the tree grows big, it becomes a home for so many birds, so many wildlife, you know, like birds, they find home and. Uh, Is something more to your program to your mm, if there's any questions that's it okay. all right if we have any last minute questions this is your time how how big how big are the king snakes king snakes <laughs> they're well the one we saw was like a baby one dead on the sidewalk like Maybe this long. Oh, okay. They can um, big enough to coil up at least. Okay. <laughs> like, Yasin, will you be going back to have a look at those trees and keep an eye on them and see how they're growing? Mm -hmm. Yes. Somebody's going to water them. Uh, the park rangers are going to water. Okay. Did you name the trees? No. No. <laughs> we did mark them with like stones to see okay. if they were planted. Oh, that's good. We you put a like, mark on that tree saying that, uh, uh, giving your name, the name of the tree, uh, and then the name of the person who has planted it. We were able to plant like over 50 trees. Mm -hmm. Nice. Alhamdulillah. That is very beautiful, and that's a very noble thing to do. Good job. Yes. Good job. Good job. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, well, Yasin, do you have any questions for our Olivers today? Because a lot of our Olivers um, garden, surprisingly, they are all uh, very expert gardeners. So if you have any advice or questions uh, to ask from them, they would be happy to answer. Has anyone made their own hexagonal planters? Their own what? Mm -hmm. Their own planters. Out of their wood. own planters. Has anybody made their own planters? 
You mean by it made it by themselves with wood, like carved? You mean, I mean by like, cutting? Is that what you mean? Yeah. By yeah. cutting? Yeah. Yes, I have done several. Oh. I've done like four big ones and a, a flower garden in between. Um, well, I do indoors as well as outdoors. I've done several for the last 20 years. <laughs> oh, mashallah. That's so impressive. <laughs> So I'm into it. I'm into it. I love yeah, it. You, you're into it for sure. Anybody else in the group who has uh, experience that, that they would like to share with their gardening that they've been up to? Sister Zarina, what are you growing this spring that's blooming in your garden right now? Well, I have vegetables, I have roses, I have all different kinds of flowers. Mm hmm. And which vegetables are you enjoying this Ramadan from your garden? Nothing yet. Zainab. Nothing yet. <laughs> Wait, I don't know the gardening calendar, okay? So I wouldn't know. I'm clueless what yeah. sprouts out when. Okay. But what are you looking forward to um, in the upcoming months? Probably cucumbers. Cucumbers, okay. Cucumber, green beans. Uh, then I have, uh, you know, that uh, pigeon beans. Uh-huh. The one you use it as uh, lentil. I, mm -hmm. I think I had shown a picture a long time ago. But those beans also I'm getting it quite a bit. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Yes. And any um, anyone else in the group growing something this spring or just planted in their first plant? That's fine. Anybody in the group? I have grapes coming up and figs coming up. Okay, let me find you. Right. Does anyone... Hold on. Does anyone have any advice for uh, aphids? Oh, aphids. Mm. Aphids. Is it um, the white fly you're talking about? The cabbage aphids. 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 Okay. Well, I can suggest you something. It's you take a little bit of vinegar, like you have a 12 ounce bottle. Mm -hmm. In that, you put a little bit of vinegar, about half a teaspoon of vinegar with neem oil. You can get the neem oil at Home Depot. Using neem oil, about half a teaspoon in a 12 ounce bottle of water, and then you mix it together and just spray it. Mm -hmm. So once you get all the aphids down, you can actually cut the tree, cut the plant, you know, chop the plant so you can get the new growth. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the way I take out aphids in my eggplants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a question for you, Zarina. What about grub worms? How do you get rid of, what do you do to get rid of those? <laughs> get rid of what, Rihanna? I think they're called grub worms. They're in my vegetable patch. <laughs> Is it kind of a black uh, dot no, kind it, of? Oh, no, it looks, it's a little curl, curled up. It's not real, it's kind of big, but it's um, kind of a pinkish, whitish color. A pinkish one. Well, what you can do is put uh, grind garlic in your plant itself, you know, in the roots of it. Oh. To take, get rid of it. Or some of them use cayenne pepper, uh -huh. you know, in the roots, not in your plants. So it has to go directly to the roots and you'll get rid of it. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> I hope it helps. <laughs> Send me a picture and I'll get a better idea. Okay. Rihanna, Rihanna what are you uh, growing, you're saying, in your vegetable patch? You said you have a vegetable patch. What are you trying to oh, grow? Me? Yes. Oh, actually, I didn't plant anything yet because I went... <laughs> At around the time that I should have been planting, I was coming to visit my daughter and there wasn't going to be anybody to take care of the plants really. So mm. I'm hoping I can still plant a few things when I come back. Mm. Mm. Okay, that sounds good. Anybody else planting anything right now? Ismat auntie, I know you are into gardening. Are you no, planting I anything in Virginia? I know nothing. I, I, wish I, I wish I could, but... Not in Virginia, huh? <laughs> okay. 
And then uh, we have, uh, what about you, um, Shumimanti? I know you are looking into composting. Right now, your goal is composting. Is that your biggest goal? Yes. That's what I'm planning to do, yes. Okay. And then once the compost is ready, then I'll go plant, doing, uh, go uh, try to do some planting. Right, getting your compost ready for yeah. some healthy compost for your um, mm -hmm. Now, uh, I know uh, Yasin's grandmother is here today, Sister Rehana. It's so nice to see you. I wanted to give you a, a moment to share a little bit about your how do you feel your little grandson is planting are you into planting has he put the seed in you to go and plant not really but he comes to my backyard and messes around with my plants <laughs> okay that's good hey how beautiful is that what a beautiful gift uh if he's able to yeah, I, have, uh, I have grapes and figs right now oh that's beautiful wonderful oh. grapes are not easy i'm sure yeah uh, that's good. And this is your, is this your first time here at Olive or this is? No, I took a, a couple of class, uh, one of the exercise classes. I think I took some. Okay, that's good. I'm glad you came and I hope I get to see you more often. Yeah, inshallah. inshallah. Yeah. Um, and, and what about you, Sister um, Rubina? What are you growing this summer and spring in your garden? Anything? You, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mulberries, mulberries are growing, but uh, the squirrels are eating every ripe one, and I've given up. Okay. <laughs> is there a solution for these squirrels, Auntie Zarina? Yes, there is. You get a either you can get a fabric net, it's mostly like plastic, or you can get a wire net at Home Depot. It's called chicken net. The problem with that is the chicken neck is pretty heavy to take it out and, you know, take it out of the tree and put it back. Mm -hmm. so the fabric net works better. It's lighter and easy to maintain. Okay. Um, too lazy to too lazy to get it and put it on. <laughs> no, maybe, it's some, okay. maybe, maybe, it's some, maybe it's something you can have your gardener do. Uh, you know, maybe that's something that you can ask them to arrange for. I'm thinking that's an idea. Yeah, and, you know, maybe they charge a little extra. It's I mean, it's worth the trouble. Mm -hmm. Or you can put a scarecrow by your berries, berry oh. tree, an owl or something. That can scare them for a couple of days. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, these days they are very smart. But right now I just get up oh, from my chair. Nice. I'm not in my office right now, but I get up and I just bang on the window and I then say, I don't want to break my window chasing the squirrels. Uh, uh, Rubina, I will send you the link for that garden net. <laughs> okay. Or you try. can put a skip. You know how in the fields when you drive towards Santa Barbara and you see the cornfield and they have the scarecrow in between the fields? Have you? Right. Put that? That you can work. just make something like that. It I... needs four sticks with a clock. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Auntie Zarina Josefa is asking I thought scarecrows were to scare crows, not squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> that means <scarecrow. laughs> artificial i mean it's just like us okay but they okay. say you can hang some cds oh yes reflection also does scare them oh that's a good I yes. think, uh, on your tree you know like my the pomegranates. The in, the, in the branches between the branches i put a polythene back there you know right. two or three of them so they don't know that uh, there's somebody there or you know just uh huh. Okay. We don't have so many squirrels. I think Rubina has more squirrels than uh, we don't have so many squirrels on our side. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Where my daughter lived, it wasn't. All right. I have a I have a question for Yasin. Is he still? Are you still there? Yeah, he's here. here. And, your, and your mother. So um, I'm really interested in native plants, and I've. I've planted quite a few in my garden, um, like buckwheat, buckwheat and cyanothus, and I have a, a manzanita tree and salvias. Have, have you, um, do you have a garden with um, native plants? Pot? 
at your home? Garden, I mean, I don't know if some of my plants are native or not, like um, uh, some fruit trees, like an, but we have palms uh -huh. and um, yeah, we have like tangelo trees, mixes between oranges and um, grapefruits. And we have two grapefruit trees, lemons. Oh, that kind of nice. Do you have a favorite native native plant? Mm, plant? I don't know. Maybe sycamore. Uh, I have, or maybe buckwheat. Here, let me show you my sycamore trading card. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Is that where you got the picture from? <laughs> no. You are the eldest in the family? I mean, about the siblings? Are you the eldest? The eldest. I had, I had a question if anyone. Um, or Zarina, see if you had a if you had any experience growing potatoes. Uh huh. Have, yeah, have you been successful? Because we we had potatoes and they were actually um, growing nicely, and then after a few weeks, like they got they started to get like lots of brown spots on them. And when I was looking it up, it looked like it might be blight or something like that. But I don't know if you've ever had any problems growing potatoes. Well, potatoes, I haven't grown that many, but the couple years ago when I tried it, it was doing well, but then I had to plant some other vegetables, so I took the potatoes out. But there's a container you get, like two pots. I was explaining that to Shamim the other day, where you can actually see the holes. Mm -hmm. Let me show, you know, let me put the picture on Olive and maybe Zena can Mm -hmm. It is a, it's a special, con you know how orchids have a special container where you, once the, once you're given a gift, you can replant it into a container where it continues bloom for years. In mm -hmm. the same way you have a potato pot at the nursery and it's a two layer of pots. So let me do that. Okay. All right. Potatoes should not be difficult to grow. They are not difficult to grow, I don't know. Maybe there is some. No, it's not. Our other master gardener is not here today. Um, Fatima. Fatima, she grows potatoes like crazy, right? <laughs> yes, she does. She grows everything like crazy. Yes, she's she not here today. Um, so we're almost at time. I wanted to thank Yasin and his family and his entourage of supporters who showed up today. I hope we get to see you more often, Yasin. Thank you for sharing your project. It's so inspiring, especially given April is Earth Month and we had Earth Day a few days ago on the 22nd. Um, tomorrow, again, we're going to wrap up with an um, uh, with a session where we share upcycled projects. So anybody who has, again, friendly reminder, you have like 24 hours to go, almost. So if there's any project that you have reused something, upcycled something, please bring it to class tomorrow from 11 to 12 um, and share it with uh, us so that we learn to reuse things that we have already in our homes for something different and new. So I'm sure in the world of gardening, there's a lot of things like that, but also with clothing and kitchen items, there's always different creative ways you can upcycle. If you are looking for ideas, I think some, some uh, links were shared in the group. Uh, if you're still deciding on what to do, if you don't have something like that. Uh, Rehana Anti, I hope we see you more often. Um, and thank you for attending Luz. And I hope you can join Olive too. We are here, like I said, everybody is welcome. We have a lot of great programs um, and I will be sharing our May calendar with you. Uh, it's completely free to join Olive. You just sign up and you get emails with all our different programs and you attend when you want. And we have a YouTube channel where you can see all these recorded programs um, that you can watch at your own time. If you prefer that, that's fine as well. Uh, yes, thank you, Jessica. Yes. Thank you, Siraj. Thank you, Yasin. Again, Rukaya and Isa. Um, we hope to see more 
of our students from Art and Wilderness Institute. Uh, a friendly reminder, we have a program called Olive Outdoors, which we uh, collaborate with Sama and her group and her young students have taken us out on nature hikes. We're just waiting for the pandemic to settle down so that we can do more outdoorsy stuff. But this is our olive outdoors in the indoor version, <laughs> basically. Uh, that's why this session today is called Olive Outdoors because of that program. And many um, naturalists like Yasin and his friends have led beautiful hikes where they not only just lead the hike, they tell us all the different facts about plants, trees, and uh, wildlife present in the area. So Sister Hakika, I, I know you asked a question. So Arden Wilderness does classes. They are, uh, while they are based, on, they, just has a, they just have a website right now. They don't have a headquarter or a location. But uh, if you check out their website, they have classes okay. for all ages. They have uh, hikes for women, I think. There's, I mean, they, their classes fill up. I'm not going to lie. It's hard to get a spot. This particular mentorship program is where she just takes small groups of five. And through the entire year, they meet twice or thrice a month. And they really go deep into like the, the, you know, the location that they choose, find everything they can to learn from. And those kids are really, you know, with their second and third year, they get higher, um, uh, you know, high, uh, uh, higher range of projects and homework. And, you know, so I believe that's what Yassine being a second year. Josefa is in his first year. Uh, so he was just getting used to things this year. But Yassine being in the second year, he had this uh, project that he had to do for community service. Um, so... Again, thank you, Yasin. Do you have anything Please. to say? Do you want to say a final goodbye? Oh, did you have a question, Sister Hakika? I'm sorry. You were about to say something? Oh, please share the links. Oh, okay. uh, And also the YouTube links for that. <laughs> mm, Thanks. The YouTube links, I, uh, yeah, I think so. I think they, uh, we would just have to look up Arden Wilderness Institute on, uh, on YouTube. YouTube. And I think that's the way to go. Uh, but I will try to uh, share the link with you, no problem. Uh, so we are a big supporter of Sama and her work because she inspires us and young children to, you know, reconnect with nature. And as all of you know, it's a great uh, thing for your health to even 20 <laughs> minutes of time spent in nature can be very beneficial. So thank you again. See thank you tomorrow you. at 11 o'clock. Uh, I hope you have a good day um, and take bye -bye. care, Yasin and family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All of Community Services is a 501c3 nonprofit organization based in Southern California that provides culturally appropriate services to seniors, their family, and the community. Through its physical and virtual interactive programs, Olive engages participants in a variety of ways that promotes health and well being. To learn more about Olive Community Services, to get involved, or to make a donation, please visit www.olivecs.org or email info at olivecs.org. Be a change maker and together, let's live, learn and thrive.